what's up and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Diva Time Gamer back again with another The Black Whale Legacy. Alright, last thing I know is what? Where I'm clicking all day. I remember, what did we do? We went to visit the doctor to talk about our Aunt Lauren. We met our neighbor. What? Met our neighbor Nashanti. And we, you know, talked with Molo the dog. So, only place we can go right now is to the hospital. Hmm. I haven't played this game for so long, I have no idea what the world I'm supposed to be doing. Thanks. Uh huh. Whoa! Hold on there. You wanna go in, I gotta clear you first. I don't think I need any of these keys. I. Mean... Thanks. Uh huh. Okay, well, this is just not helping. I must be dead. Let's go right to the apartment and see what we didn't do. So we can go to the next phase. Let's see. Let's try going back to the Shanti. Come in. Look, you've got him all excited. Come in. All right. So this it's something I didn't do that I. Can't seem to Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Alright, well, well I'd good. better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. I honestly have no idea whatsoever. You know I spoil you. Go get it. Uh -huh. Come here, boy. Go get it. See ya. Someone wants a treat, eh? This dog put okay. me in a treat. Let's go back to our apartment and see if we can find something there that will give us a clue. Or something. I have nobody to call. <laughs> You're right. <sighs> I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll feel up to it. But today, it's just not happening. You ain't gonna be inspired to do right in child. Oh, envelope. Looks like it's from Bellevue. Alright, there we go. Hold oh, on, I did. There we go. Oh, I don't go read it, but looking at this, all I see is a book. It's too much pages. Okay. I have nobody to call. I have nobody to call.
long I would ever retain. I know how to make it true. I don't know. Let's try going back to Bellevue because they did send us an envelope, so let's see if we can go for now, I should say. We should be Neil. Thanks. Uh-huh. Whoa! Hold on there. You want to go in, I gotta clear you first. Thanks. Uh-huh. Okay, so what do I want to do with this, though? Like... There's... Maybe I had to just go through the whole thing. Let's try now. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I had to go through the whole Hello? thing. Hello? Rosangelina, hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time. For once. Yeah. I've got a little assignment for you today. Assignment? Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. College girl named Joanne Sherman. Well, that's awful, but... You know the Brittany house, the NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too, and hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. <laughs> Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter. Sort of. Exactly. My old notepad should come in handy for this. Alright, so... This Auntie Lauren right here. This is her mom. And maybe her father. Maybe her mom and maybe her father, I should say, because this question mark, so. And what's this? I think mean, Jack, her, and their mother. Jack is her brother, I believe. Ugh. I feel like hell and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. There's nobody home. Hmm? Hi, I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Can I help you? Perhaps. Could I ask you a few questions? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? That's true. Ain't nobody wearing about your name, Jack. That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Or did it? Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. 
It was in the middle of the night. There was, there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, <laughs> it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. What? Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, nobody of she always she never her Can you I'm tell sure me she know. jumped off she it was, there was make sure every time. Did I already ask you if you had a picture of Yes. They really thought you were a girl. Yes. <laughs> well that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Who's next? There's nobody home. There's nobody home. Well, where am I yet? Yeah? Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Am I supposed to know you? No, I'm with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye, the newspaper. I've never heard of it. It doesn't matter. Well, what do you want then? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look. So she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? What's your problem? So you and Joanne weren't close. Brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Can you go away? You don't care? Not even a little bit? No, I don't. Why the hell should I? For that matter, why should you? Will you please calm down? Calm down? Who the hell do you think you are? Look, my boss will kill me if I come back with nothing. Can't you help me out here? <laughs> Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at her desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Can you tell me a little why? Just oh, uh, suit yourself. Joanne never. How would I? You live like I. So Joanne was. Yeah. Sure. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. There's nobody home. Guess we go back to the RA's room? With our new information? Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Jelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Can you tell me anything else about- I don't feel it's my place to say anything else. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Oh. And why is that? Do you know if Joanne had any is trouble she running away? All I know is that, but... Something? Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems. But, of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Mm -hmm. 
Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. I'll see what boyfriend's on. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Let's go back Just to remember, Kelly. leave my name out of it. Yeah. So you've been sleeping somewhere else lately? Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. You yeah, been like I said. <laughs> no, no. Just confirming the information. Looks like Adrian's been talking. Just so you've been sleeping? Yeah, you've been. No, just looks like. So Joe. Yeah. Alright, so we're. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Our next piece of information. Go back to that maybe. Hmm. Hi, it's me again. You have more. Yeah. I suppose. What do you want? Do you know where Kel- No. Was Joanna good- I don't think she had any- But, of course. I don't know what else. To do. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Well, now, we just gotta figure out how to get our next piece of information. Well, she didn't give us- wait, did she? Let's try going to her again. Maybe she can't give her. Yeah? Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. You don't even like her. Why can't you? Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. What else? Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. That's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. There's gum stuck to the faucet. I'm not touching that. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Don't mind getting anything from none of them now. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Did I already ask you? Yes. You they really? Yes. Can you tell me anything else about Kelly? I don't, if you want to know. Was Joanna? I don't think. But. Well, that's all for. Thanks for helping out. Just remember. We
Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. I wonder where Kelly goes to sleep at night. Kelly told me that Joanne studied all day and nothing else. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. That's all I really know about them. Could Kelly have had something to do with Joanne killing herself? She could. I'm the girl. I've been bumping the girl before. If anyone has a photograph of Joanne, it would be Kelly. If only I could convince her to give it to me. Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne in the NYU dorm. He's the resident assistant for the floor. I guess Joanne and Kelly weren't too close if Kelly spent all her nights somewhere else. It would appear that Joanne was a pretty good student, or at least a hard-working one. Kelly told me that Joanne... Kelly told me that Joanne slept sound. Yeah. So you've been sleep. Yeah, I've been at my. You've been following. No, just looks like. Thanks All right, hold on. We... Yeah, sure. I know there's something about like you gotta piece the note together. All right, so sorry. All I know about Joanne is that. She... My boss asked me to find a photograph of Joanne. To... Adrian lives a few. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. According to Kelly, Joanne didn't have any trouble sleeping. It would appear that Joanne was a pretty, or at least a. I guess Joanne and Kelly weren't too. I don't see what one has to do with the other. Well, this is something. Could Adrian have had something to do with Joanne killing herself? It may not seem like it could. Kills, Kelly have. But it might actually have something to do with the If I were planning to kill myself, would I sleep soundly at night? I don't know if I could. I don't know either. Joanne seemed to be a hard-working student. Maybe the pressure got to her. Would Joanne have killed herself over Kelly sleeping somewhere else at night? I doubt it, but anything's possible. Okay. <laughs> hmm, no, I don't see any connection. I don't see what one has to do with the other. Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. Kelly told me that Joanne studied all day and nothing else. I don't see what one has to do with the other. Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Did Kelly really lie to me? I probably should ask her about it. Yeah, let's ask her. Yeah? Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, oh, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but... Not much there. Just a typical college kid. Acted just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. I mean... 
Did Joanne well, act... be unusual before she died? Um, no. Although, the last few weeks, she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? Uh, I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. Alright, just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we switch. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why? Just oh, oh so you're just don't want to tell me about her. So what was Joanne really? To be honest, she was she was so vanilla. You know, just a she seemed. Did Joanne act? Oh, although what did she? No oh, idea. She switched. Look scared. Just I didn't even. So you killed us? No, no, not. Are we done? Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Can you tell me if she jumped off? She died. It was in the mid. There was. Make sure. It's probably. Well, that's all. Thanks yeah, for helping. Just remember. It, all I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. Adrian lives. In I don't think nothing there. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. Them. That's all I really know about them. Could Adrian have had something? I'm not stealing stuff from college kids. Who said steal it? Nobody said steal it. But should I go back to your room? Cause, or should we look at the photo? I don't want to ruin the picture. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. I assume that this is- Alright. We're just gonna go home. Cause I don't think I can get any more information out of these two, so Ugh. we're gonna go home. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. You have to write the story. <laughs> this little headache you got going. This is getting bad. Oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Or go to sleep and don't type up no story. <laughs> right. No more interruptions. Done. Article's finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. She go to sleep, yeah. That's... Or so she thought. No. What's... What the world? What's the what sound? What is happening? It's gone. 
the pain, it's gone. That was strange. It was like, like, like what? What is that? This place has been going for the longest, isn't it? Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but no, no, no! I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, that's... it's just the stress. That's all. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest. That's all. My sweetie, go to sleep. All with the world. I were running. I was not staying in this apartment. Hello, bright eyes. Why do they always do that? I don't know. Maybe because you came out of nowhere. So, Griff, long time no see. Those tricks. Right, thought as much. Blackwell dames. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. <laughs> yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mm. It's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up! <laughs> Joey <fight>. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. <laughs> I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Calm shut up. Down. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No. You shut up. Oh. You're gonna listen. And you're gonna listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it! You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even <laughs> if I wanted to. <laughs> Hi there. Um... Well you really exist. Oh yes, live and in person. Although I'm not really alive, and I'm not sure if I can still call myself a person anymore. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone, and I'm the family spirit guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, Dollface. <laughs> and we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you Me will, either. babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah, you felt sick to your stomach, I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? I think it was the part. You mean, the dog run? Yeah, that's where we've gotta go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap, you should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. 
If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. We've got to go right now? Yes. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Uh-uh, that's a Was low Was that blow. because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid, not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. Might as well, because we stuck still. <laughs> After you. <laughs> that was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! It is dark dark. We don't need to be home. I can't travel Sleep far in. from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Wait, I see something. Who is, is that, that? Thing? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. Leaving so soon? I thought we were getting along. It's joy, though. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. Who won't stop, kid? Try and concentrate. Explain everything so we can help you. Help. 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 He wants, he wants me to, to help, help him, him, but I, I want, want to help, help them. them. Don't, Don't they know, know that? that? Help who? Can't, can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. No, no we're, we're sick. sick. He, poisoned he poisoned us. us. Got, Got into our, our head and poisoned us. us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you. Sweetie, you'll be Run. <laughs> Run away, like all the others! You're beautiful when you're angry. Has anyone told you? <laughs> no. You won't trap me again. Again? He made everyone go away. There is nobody else. You're him! Who? Him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave! Alright! We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. I think that's supposed to be jo um, Joanne. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands, haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No, I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. That's... <laughs> it ain't. We can come back in the morning, cause... It's too late at night to be trying to figure this out. Uh, what an odd dream. Chelsea dream, look at it. Watch this. Good morning, bright eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. <laughs> Has anybody told you that you snore? If it bothers you so much, you can always leave. I wish I could, dear. <laughs> I told you, I couldn't leave even if I wanted to. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. 
That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. <laughs> you think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She... made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. Is it? You've tell him again. accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. Yes. Good. Maybe there's hope after all. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, I can't the only touch part it. of me you can touch, unfortunately. It kinda tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull! Okay. Oh my god, where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place. Forcing its way into your mind. So what does that mean? It means that you've got a spiritual way station in your head. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point, or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely <coughs> tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I yeah, think so. I the ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions <laughs> about this place, so go ahead and ask them. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't okay. no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look alright. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. Alright. Let's get out of here. 
Back home we go. <laughs> Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to... that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. Oh my gosh, all these questions. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. This <laughs> her twin sister. You sure? She's a dead ringer. No pun intended. The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. Could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. Mm. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. Uh-uh. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Yeah. On that note, I'm gonna end this part right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to thumbs up this video, share with all your friends and family, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is what you're doing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>